Hey, what's up, Bandlab family? Yes, I'm out and about walking kids again. It's all good. It's time to do the shout out weekend anyway. As you can see, our artist of the week is Obeth Nelson. He's a fellow Aussie like me, and he does a lot of Christian music, but don't let that um, throw you off. Um, his music is awesome, regardless of whether you believe in God or are Christian or not. His stuff is amazing. Let's sample one of his songs now so that you get an idea on what he does. Hard to decide which one. Let's do chords and waves. Here's one. Have a listen. Sorry about that, we've got some testosterone-fueled motorcycle driver thinking that it's important for the whole neighbourhood to hear him. Alright, but that is Obeth Nelson, and that is his work. Um, have a listen to his songs, like his page, follow him, he's got some amazing stuff. Our Artist of the Week, Obeth Nelson. Now I'm about to record our song of the week. See you soon. All right. We are now up to song of the week. This is Jennifer Wren in the band Black Wren. And the song is Don't Bring Me Down. It is a beautiful, soothing track with nice, soothing vocals and wonderful lyrics. Have a listen to a sample of it. Getting into it, I forgot to press pause. Um, 
good thing I did stopped it when I did, otherwise you'd hear the whole track and wouldn't go to an actual song and listen to it in full and like it. So yeah, that was Don't Bring Me Down by Jennifer Wren in Black Wren. Absolutely beautiful song and worthy of Song of the Week this week. Now we're about to do Collab of the Week. See you soon. All right, here is this week's Shout Out Weekend Collab of the Week. Been meaning to share this for a while now, but didn't get around to it until now. This is a collaboration with Mark Snack, Sandy C, and Hope Gray, um, who have forked a track from Scully on the Beat called Arabian Nights, and they've added their own amazing vocals to this track. Have a listen to this amazing track. love how their voices actually blend in with the instrumentation so that it actually becomes part of the instrumentation. It's really cleverly mixed and I absolutely enjoy it. It is definitely one of my favourite collabs on Band Lab. So get on that, listen to it in full, like it, comment on it, share it around. It is an amazing track. Now stay tuned because I have actually one more surprise for Shout Out Weekend. See you soon. All right, guys. Normally, I would do an album of the month, but <laughs> lately, I've been liking a heck of a lot of albums lately. So I am going to be doing album of the week instead of album of the month. That's the new surprise. Surprise! We're going to be featuring... Dark Circus, the Halloween album. This was produced by Natasha in Dove Park by Dove Park Records of this year, released just before Halloween. I had the opportunity of listening to this after another band lab member recommended it to me, and it is pretty good. Let's sample some of the songs. Welcome to the circus. Here we go. What a great way to introduce the album and to get us in the mood for what's about to come next. Next song I want to feature on this video is Vampire's Ball because I like the song and I love vampires, so here we go.
very catchy. Absolutely love it. All right, final sample. We're going to look at a dark magic spell. Have a listen. Yeah, that is Dark Circus, the Halloween album. Absolutely awesome. And to be quite frank, you don't really need to wait until Halloween to listen to it. It's great for any time of the year to give us the chills and the spooky vibes. Really awesome job, Natasha and Dove Park. Um, get on this album, listen to all the songs, like it, love it, own it because it is a great, fantastic little album right here. So yeah, album of the month has now become album of the week. So stay tuned for next week's shout outs to see which album will be featured next. All right, this is Raymond Tioto signing off for Shout Out Weekend. Bye for now.